Ah, swimming. There's nothing like splashing around in a pool or lake in the summertime. Unless the lake bottom is muddy, then it's just disgusting. One other swimming buzzkill is the old wives' tale that says you can't swim until a half hour after you eat. Well, now there's a device that can help swimmers even if they ate 29 minutes ago. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. There are a lot of ways to have fun in the water. Swimming, surfing, and boating are some of the most popular. But water safety is very important. Even strong, experienced swimmers can succumb to hypothermia, fatigue, or muscle cramps that could cause a water emergency. Meet Tom Agapiedes, the man behind an innovative new wearable that could ultimately save your life when you're in the water. It's called the Kinji. The Kinji is the smallest inflatable in the world. It's a small device you wear on your wrist. In case of emergency in the water, you can pull a lever and deploy a small airbag that will basically keep you buoyant. Tom developed a wrist inflator after a close friend didn't survive a water emergency. One day that we were in the pool, a whole bunch of us, a friend of ours got in trouble and um, he lost his life as a result of that. Strong swimmers are mostly the ones who really get in situations. They get caught in the current, pushes them out, the panic, the heart rate goes up, they lose their strength. So we want to avoid that part. I made my way to Yuba City, California to meet Tom and learn more about this new device. Okay, so how does the Kinji work? The Kinji work by you taking this unit, really simple. Put it in your hand, just like a watch. And how it works, basically, you just pull the lever out and you have an airbag. Wow. And what will happen That was quick. Very quick. A second and a half. A second and a half. And the gas expands. And that's how I use it. My head it sticks above water. I use this hand to get to safety. Uh, I can even hold on if I want to. Right. Executing the functionality of a wrist-firing flotation device presented plenty of engineering problems. The challenge was, how can we bring it into your wrist? How easy it can be for you to deploy? How to bring the air from the canister to the material, to the airbag? How to refold it and recharge it? So all those were challenges. To inflate the bag as quickly as possible, Tom uses compressed carbon dioxide gas better known as CO2, inside these 12-gram capsules. When you pull this lever, there's a small needle that punctures the capsule. The bag is designed to stay inflated for up to 48 hours and is made of a durable nylon so strong, I can put my full weight on the balloon and it won't pop or deflate. <laughs> I would imagine the color has something to do with... Yes, definitely. The color is very important. When we're sitting and looking at the water, this color it will go right into your eye. It could be 100 people around, and once this bag deploys, your eyes will go into the bag, and then you'll know that that person needs assistance. The inflator also comes with a whistle and a compass in case you're by yourself and in the water for a longer period of time. I put on my swimsuit and tried out the Kinji for myself, and the pull to the surface of the pool only took a few seconds. But I was curious, why call this device a Kinji? It's a small freight lizard that once you scare it, it kind of goes and it runs away backwards. So that's where the name Kinji came from. That Kinji looks scary. I think I'll just hang out in the pool with this one and chillax.